snow is so fluffy, but welcome back to Salt Lake City, everybody. And it feels kind of cool in this episode because it has been two years since we last ever made a city guide vlog. There's nothing to fear, my friend. No, no. It's the natural. <laughs> So this city has got to be the one we have spent the most time in here in the US and it is all because of a little family called the Grinceries. We spent two weeks here when we first met them back in 2015 and another week later on in the year and even after they left to move to Canada we all returned in 2019 for a week of hanging out and of course Hunter's first white Christmas just a few days ago. So now you guys can definitely see why we are so excited to be showing you around this city and yesterday we checked in right in the heart of the city to a spot called Hotel Monaco. So welcome to our hotel. We are staying in the heart of Salt Lake City. And it's kind of cool at the moment. If you come to Salt Lake City and you book on one of the participating hotels, they give you a 48 hour Salt Lake City pass. So that's gonna get us into 16 of the attractions right around the city. So that honestly should keep us pretty entertained for most of the weekend. And one of those is the Utah Olympic Park. If you guys didn't know, Salt Lake held the Winter Olympics in 2002 and um, I'm about to go do something pretty fun over there. <laughs> Good luck. I'm about to do something that I didn't think I would be doing this year, let alone any years. <sighs> Nervous, but equally excited at the same time. Okay, you guys are probably thinking, Steven, stop being so coy. Give us a hint to what you're doing. Here's the hint. Have you guys seen the classic 90s movie, Cool Runnings? That's a bobsled. Oh, so a bobsled is a push cart with no wheel. That's your hint. So we got here about 45 minutes early and the cool thing about the Salt Lake City Pass is that we can get a guided tour through the Olympic Park. So of course in 2002, Salt Lake City hosted the Winter Olympics. So being able to see the history here and to kind of participate in one of the, um, the sports. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Hunter, what are you doing in there? You know, this is what dad's gonna be going in. He's gonna go wee. <sighs> I'm gonna have you guys stay right here at the top of the stairs. Feet together right there. Uh, feet together, like yep, just standing? Just stand. yep. Okay, cool. Power. After the crazy start to our weekend here in the city, you know what? I'm down for just hanging out with you guys, having some brunch, and showing you guys around the city. So when we stay in the cities, we normally like to skip the hotel breakfast and instead go out and look for a local spot. Ava's Bakery is a favorite spot of ours. Opened by local chef Charlie in honor of his great-grandmother Ava, you will easily find a tasty pastry to satisfy your needs. Of 
course picked up a chalky croissant, a couple of coffees and some tasty breakfast to dine in. <laughs> I think someone loved the croissant a little too much. <laughs> yeah, that's the leftovers. <laughs> So over the next couple of days, our Salt Lake City Pass gets us into, I think, over 16 different attractions and we honestly never would have thought to come here and we didn't even know they did museums for kids. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter is sorted. I think this is probably the peak of the entire trip. It's right here. What do you see? Do you see a horsey? So of course, when we're traveling, we always try to give Hunter as much activities as possible. And we've just got through, well, what they call the Child's Museum, but I wouldn't even call it a museum. It is a gigantic fun house different stations we're currently in the grocery store so hunter can do she could do pretend play here we're currently in a fake harmons which is a grocery store here in salt lake and she's loving it The next morning we headed out before sunrise for a drive through the spectacular mountain ranges as we watched the light slowly peek through the snow. I think we have found the most winteriest place to have breakfast. We're currently sitting inside a snow globe. So we drove about 45 minutes this morning out to a place called Midway. This is Cafe Galleria. It was such a beautiful drive as well because we're driving up through the mountains to get here. The sun had just started to rise. Look at this little snow globe. So cool. It's about negative 10 degrees out there. Freezing. It's probably maybe closer to zero in here because there's like this little heater keeping us warm. <laughs> I know. We're definitely ordering a warm breakfast and warm drinks. This smells <laughs> so good. When we came in, we saw that there was a wood fire oven and they were making bagels from scratch. And so we were like, okay, we have to order a bagel. Oh, this looks so good. Yum. Is it better than the others? So much better. It's almost like damper bread, but being cooked in. Yum. <laughs> All right, guys, if you're looking for a cool breakfast spot, mm. happy to drive out of the city, this is the spot to come. Wow, this is good. Is it good? Mm. Our next stop was to see the mountains for themselves, heading out to Snowbird to get a bird's eye view of the ski slopes. You can't come out to Salt Lake City without visiting at least one of the many slopes. And though Hunter was a little too young to participate, it was still worth a day trip out to see the beautiful views. You guys aren't even planning to ski. Just coming on the tram itself is worth it. Just for these views. Definitely the highest elevation she's ever been. We're currently 3,300 meters up on top of the mountain. Seeing as we're in Salt Lake City during the winter, we could not miss at least one day up in the mountains. So we've headed up to Snowbird and we're going to be watching the skiers and snowboarders going down the scariest slope ever. After one day, do you want us to teach you how to ski? And when I say us, I mean a teacher because mummy and daddy aren't very good at skiing. See them? They're going down the mountain. Bye everyone. Yeah. Bye. That was the first time she said bye. Yeah. She said bye. Are we falling asleep on Dad? She's falling asleep. <laughs> Hunter, are you all there? No, she's gone. She, uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter, 
You know, you've had a big day. Oh, Hunter. She never does this, so I don't even know she's oh, doing Oh, look at her. <laughs> little sweetie. Sometimes you forget that she's just a little bubba. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Alrighty, we've just come out to Park City to do some tubing <laughs> and we have some people that have joined us. <laughs> Say, I'm excited! A little bluebird. We have never been tubing before. So excited. I've always wanted to do this and it is so cold today, like negative 10. Oh my gosh, Steve. <laughs> oh, it's good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go, 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 go